What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to teach you guys how to make this sound. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to give back to the community so I'm going to be doing videos like this every week where I create sounds from scratch and make them available to you for free. If you like any of the sounds in this video, head to the description below and click the link. Let's do it. So first thing we're going to do is we're just going to open up an instance of Serum, have a flat EQ. I'm going to be making this sound to perform in the key of D. So that's what we've got. First thing we're going to do, we're going to go to our EQ8. We're going to turn on a brick wall low cut here, and we're going to low cut it at 104 hertz. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to select some cool sounds that sound cool. Let's head into Spectral. Let's choose Creeper. Now first thing we're going to do is we're going to sweep through the wavetable. So I kind of like that tonality right there. We're going to turn on oscillator B, go to analog and select basic shapes. We're going to, I want, I want this sound to be really harmonically rich. So we're going to select the second uh, basic shape here. If anybody knows what they call this basic shape, comment down below, let me know. So now we've got this sound right here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our A warp and oscillator one and select FM from B. And we're going to sweep through this dial until we find a harmonically rich section. Like that right there. So that's at 65%. We turned our A warp to 65% on the FM from B. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our effects section, turn on our compressor, select the multiband option, and throw the threshold to the left. I like to call this throwing the threshold back. Let's do it. The sound got bigger. The sound has a little bit more girth and grit to it now. Now I'm going to select another tone. I don't like it. I like that right there. So we've moved the A warp down to 55%. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our LFO1 and we're going to create the sustain pattern. Move the LFO1 rate to two bars. And we're going to go ahead and select the macro on LFO1 and throw it onto the A warp FM from B on oscillator 1. Now it should sound like this. We're going to turn our trigger on in LFO1. So every time we press the note, it starts from the beginning. Now we're going to sweep through this till we find a harmonically rich sound. Our LFO1 A warp to 22%. It should sound like this now. Go to your effects section, turn the distortion on, and we're gonna keep it on tube distortion and turn the drive up and see how gritty we can get this to sound. So I went ahead and turned the drive uh, up to 80%, just a little bit more grit to the sound. Next thing we're gonna do is turn the filter on and go to miscellaneous and select a combs filter. We're gonna turn the resonance up. We're gonna sweep through till we find a nice sound. Oh, that's nasty. So we're going to turn the filter cutoff to 19% and we're going to throw the LFO1 macro onto the cutoff filter on the uh, combs. Turn the LFO1 cutoff to 7. Resonance, I'm going to turn up to 34, 35%. Sick. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn our EQ on and we're going to turn the gain up all on the, the far right. We're going to turn the gain up to about 3.4 just to breathe some life into the sound. Sick. Turn our reverb on, keep all these in the same position as they are. And um, we're gonna use hall reverb, turn the percent down to 6% and turn the low cut up to 35%. It should sound like this now. And that's it for the first patch here. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this patch. We're gonna throw in the key of D, little sustain pattern should sound just like this. You just write it into your piano roll. Boom. Then we're gonna solo our second sound. We're going to Turn the unison in our second serum patch to 2, and we're going to turn our detune down to 0.02. Now it's nice and wide. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn our phase and random all the way to the left on, our, on, on both serum patches here. So let's go into the first patch and do the same exact thing. And then we're going to sweep through our FM from B A warp on the second patch until we find a nice sound that, goes, that pairs really well with the first patch. Select the nice tone and we're going to play them together here. We're going to go ahead and play both of these sounds together and see what it sounds like. So I'm going to turn the wavetable position. 
So now what I did was I turned the FM from B on A warp to 32%. That's the tone I like that meshes really well with the first patch and I turned the wavetable position on oscillator 1 to 188%. Then I turned the comb filter to 1918 on the hertz section in the filter cutoff. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn the I'm going to turn the level down on oscillator B so cuz I don't want all this basic shape tone to bleed through. Now we're getting more harmonic. We're going to do the same exact thing on the first patch. Just a little bit though, 52%. Nice, so now let's play these two songs together. Select the different basic shape on Serum Patch 2, nice. So I selected the sine basic shape and then I turned the FM from B A warp on oscillator A to 5%. It sounds like this now. And now when you pair it together, you get this. <laughs> nice. Now, last but not least, we're going to go ahead and take the um, low cut off of our first serum patch, open serum, turn the oscillator sub on on the first patch, turn the direct out on, and we, here we have it, low wind. And there you have it. If you like any of these sounds, you can grab them linked below in the description.